ladies and gentlemen we were noticed by a very awesome company named super clean and they were grateful enough to sponsor us so they sent out some of their best products for us to try out so we can show you guys so let's get to it okay start off showing you everything that they sent us here we got a very nice hat we got the super clean shirt very cool we got the all wheel cleaner the original super clean and the spray can very very cool products here I've already tested them out oh amazing quality amazing products and I'm gonna leave links in the description for where you can buy the product and everything it's it's, it's awesome they got other products in this too basically if you work with your hands if you do any sort of mechanics work if you go boating sports work on cars anything that they make some awesome products that are very very good at cleaning which we're going to show you today so let's get right to it test out this product and show you how awesome it is all right we have some different products here that we're going to test for you um, we have some different date raging on bottles now you're not supposed to use this on untreated glass but uh, I've tested it all out on these bottles here. We have date ranging from like 1880 up to 1960 and I didn't have any problem with it. Just diluting, um, diluting it about 1 8th, 1 16th, something like that. Cleans amazing. We've got iron and we're going to clean up this table here because it is disgusting. It has been rust stained like this for five years now. So we're going to test out super clean, see if we can get cleaned up this table, clean up the axe, and different bottles here that I have already used other cleaners on, by the way. They are foggy and just cannot get all the gunk out of here. We have already ran through different cleaning products on this, all-purpose all cleaners and we can't get it to dissolve and clean up. I've used the rock method where you put little pebbles in here and shake them up and try to get rid of it. So we're gonna put some super clean in here and see how clean these bottles get. Try to clean up this axe and plastic table here and see how we go. Now we're gonna follow the super cleans sheet and they have a sheet telling you if you need to dilute the product or not so we're gonna be going around for the iron we're just gonna spray it right on for the plastic table we're gonna use one out of 16 so we're gonna put one part super clean 16 part water and for the glass we're gonna do about the same one part and 16 parts now that we got our water in there we are going to start spraying in the super clean Okay, now we're going to drop our pebbles in here so we can give it a really good shake and get all the loose dirt off of here. Now, mind you, I have done this before with a different cleaner in here. Let's see, we can already tell the color on here. We might just have to let it sit for this guy right here, but I think we're going to have some pretty good luck with some of these guys. OK, 
tape and now we're going to give it the shaky shake. Now we are going to hose them all down. And the difference on those bottles is amazing it's like night and day there is a little bit of staining left in this one and that one but what more do you want you want them that's awesome all that gunk caked up inside here is all gone Awesome, awesome results on that one. They look so much better. That is, remind, remind you that I've already cleaned these once before with water and another cleaner and that rock method, but this one here, I put the rocks right in, shook it up. All that big gunk that was connected on the side here just floop, fell right off. That's awesome stuff right there. Now we're gonna give it a go on the ax head. Now this has already been through electrolysis and it's just yeah we're gonna give her a, give her a clean and take the wire brush to it and see what it looks like with the with the super clean and then when all else fails we're gonna do the table which i don't know if you can tell <laughs> where i was cleaning the bottles some already got on the table and already started to clean it <laughs> inadvertently but we still got some mess to clean up don't you worry
Check out the results there, folks. Wow. Now that just went through a little bit of electrolysis. Maybe 20 hours of electrolysis. And you saw how rusty it was before. I mean, this thing was buried for 150 years and it was worn to heck. And it's actually got some shine on it. That's in absolutely incredible. Great product, super clean. Wow. Heck, you can use that thing today. Put a handle on it. Now we're going to get down to brass tacks and get over here and clean that work table because it's horrible. Obviously, it already got a little clean because we were cleaning stuff on it. So we got one clean spot, but we're going to spray her down. And then uh, wash her off and see how nice it looks. Okay, first things first. We're going to get it a little wet here. You're supposed to dilute it for plastic. I'm not going to measure it exactly. Because it's just a crappy work table. But we're going to even her out. There we go, it is wet, and we're going to do half of the original spray, and half of the foam spray. Do the original over here, and we'll do the foam over here. I tend to like using foam when I do stuff like this just because it sticks to it. Just be a little bit of a test. Now obviously that looks cleaner but it's covered up by the foam so you can already see it kind of weeping away. We're going to let it sit but we are not going to let it dry and then we're going to take the little crappy pressure washer I got here it's not really a pressure washer it's just a, one of those hoses that turns it into high pressure we're running on a budget here folks so we do what we do with what we got okay let's do the one side first No scrubbing and now we're gonna hose her down again and see what it's like when we scrub okay now we're gonna do the scrubbing method we're gonna get a little more of this water off it didn't do anything to the plastic before so and you always want to test it on an inconspicuous area. let her sit for a while oh wow we've already used quite a bit up on our tests gonna start lightly scrubbing over here wow yeah that is incredible and you just add a little bit of scrubbing to the mix
And like I said, this table has not been cleaned since 2015, 2016. It's a lifetime table. Just a hard plastic, but obviously I use it for a lot of restorations and stuff. And electrolysis and just about everything. Because the workbench I have is in the shed and we're in Florida where nine months out of the year 95 degrees and 100% humidity. So I like working out of the shed. Dry. Now for the worst side. Oh yeah. A little bit of brute force. You clean just about anything up. It's gonna look like a brand new table. Besides all the scratches. I bet you it would have looked better without scrubbing if I had an actual pressure washer, but this is great. Now I'd say if you are a mechanic or do a lot of projects on vehicles and stuff, this would be a must. Or if you work a lot with tools, this cleans up any greasy tools, even in the kitchen. You can use it on clothes. You can use it on just about anything. Carpets, upholstery, a lot of detailers use this stuff. It works great for cleaning up carpets. You just gotta follow their little chart so you don't damage any of your stuff you're trying to clean but we're just testing purposes for today and we're not doing anything that's important here. We're just testing her out and I don't know about you guys but from what I saw this stuff works great especially on those bottles. Bottles are very hard to clean dig them up out of the ground. They've been sitting in old privy pits that have all this lime and stuff that they treated all the privy pits on. And that stuff with a little bit of abrasion from the rocks, oh, cleaned it right up. And the axe head as well. Very surprised how that turned out. Just spraying. I don't know if you've been watching any of my other videos with uh, the wire brush technique and angle grinders and everything, but it takes a lot of work to clean up something that's been in the ground for that long and make it look new or near new. Okay, before this stuff dries, let's give her a shot. Let me back up the camera here. Amazing. around here that is awesome wow and those are rust stains too people I mean hardcore rust stains in plastic and I bet you we can get 
just a little bits that are on there still off if we scrubbed hard enough and did a couple more coats but that is just great you can tell that that rust has been on there for a number of years and plastic wonderful on plastic it cleaned up the old bottles and cleaned up the old uh, axe head and maybe we'll do a number on this trailer because gosh those oak trees are brittle all right ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video i am very grateful to super clean for sending me out these products we're going to be using them again in the future and i'm very impressed the bottles oh that cleaned them up nice and it doesn't even advertise that they clean up bottles so they got some uses for some other items now i wouldn't recommend using it on anything that's untreated those bottles are on the late 1800s up until 1960s so they've all been treated they all they all went fine no color changes anything like that but always test on the item that you're using it on especially if you care about it we're just doing run through of the tests here i'm not measuring for the dilute and everything but you want to follow their chart if you're doing it on stuff that you actually care about follow the chart do it just the way they tell you and you won't have any problems so wonderful thank you very much super clean i had a blast trying it out thank you guys for watching and i'll have link links in the description for everything on how to get the super clean so thank you all for watching see you all in the next Whew. look at that get off that thing i think i might do that